Hello MBA aspirants, I hope all of you are geared up for CAT by now. In this video, we are going to talk about a few priceless tips for CAT preparation. Before we discuss those tips, hit the subscribe button below to get a regular feed for your CAT preparation from Hit Bullseye. Now let's look at the things to follow religiously if you're planning to get into your dream college next year. Number one. Familiarize yourself with the exam pattern. Watch the demonstration on the official CAT website or take a mock to get a fair idea about the section and the type of questions that each section has. We have quite a few uh, free mocks available on our portal. Sign up for a free account and you can start taking those mocks anytime. After you've taken the test, try to analyze your performance. Which topic or area were you most comfortable with? which topic looked like a nightmare. Make a list of topics that need more attention. After taking a few mocks, you will be able to understand and identify your weakest area. To begin with, try to devote 50% of your preparation time to the weakest area and 25% each to the remaining two. Number two, work on the basics. To begin with, you will have to cover all the concepts in a planned approach. Try to take these concepts one at a time. And then if you have sufficient time left with you, try to finish all the topics at least one month before the date of exam so that you have sufficient time to take mocks and analyze your performance thoroughly. Number three, read as much as you can. Every cat aspirant should read extensively every day. If you're not reading at all at this point in time, start with a newspaper like The Hindu. Make sure that you read the editorial page thoroughly. Gradually, you will have to get into the habit of reading on a computer screen. Since the exam is online, you have to get familiar with reading on the screen and comprehending easily. Also, start taking notes of the difficult words on a day-to-day -day basis and try to use those words in your daily conversation. Reading will not only help you improve your reading speed and comprehension ability. In bonus, it will help you improve your knowledge as well, which will come very handy at the time of group discussions, interviews and VAT. Number four, work on mental calculations. Although you do get an on-screen calculator in CAT, most of the non-CAT exams do not have that option available. Also, mental calculations help you save a lot of time during the exam. Look at different numbers from different sources like a menu card, traffic lights, timetable, and try to do mental calculations as much as you can. You can do this while commuting in a bus or train, sitting in a club, walking in the evening, or during college breaks. Number five, Take mocks and analyze them thoroughly. Without taking mocks, anything that you do will not help you get into top five to 10% of the two lakh cat aspirants. Also, delaying taking mocks, saying that I have not yet completed my syllabus does not make sense at all. Syllabus for cat can never be over. If you haven't started taking the mocks yet, please start that today itself. Just make sure that you spend significant amount of time in analyzing your performance. Thorough analysis of the mocks helps you understand your strong and weak areas, which further helps you identify the questions that you should be solving first while taking the exam and the questions that you should be leaving completely. In my experience of 12 years interacting with the CAT aspirants, what I have seen is most of the 99 plus percentilers solve between 40 to 60 mocks. One important thing to remember here is that they spend more time in analyzing the mocks than taking those mocks. Do keep in mind that taking previous year's actual CAT papers is equally important to understand the level of difficulty of the exam. We will be covering the topic how to take mocks and analyze them in a follow-up video very soon. Number six, some important areas to cover for the exam. Quant has a big chunk of questions from topics like commercial maths, arithmetic, geometry and mensuration, 
and algebra. In VA and RC, one must get expertise in solving RCs, para-jumbles, odd one out and para-summary. In DI, most important practice area will be on the questions based on charts, graphs, tables, caselets, Venn diagram and sitting arrangement. Attempting between 22 to 25 questions uh, in quant and verbal section can easily get you 95 plus percentile. In DI, anywhere between 18 to 20 questions with high accuracy can easily get you 95 plus percentile in the exam. Link to the detailed analysis of CAD 2019 is given in the description below. You can go through that to understand the cutoffs required to get into your dream college. Now it's time to look at the most important tip for CAT. Stay stress free and completely focused. Try to interact regularly with your friends who are taking the exam with you. Discuss ideas, strategies and challenges that you're facing with them regularly. Seek help from experienced mentors who can be the teachers at your coaching institute or your seniors who have already landed in their dream colleges. Try to take regular breaks while studying. It is necessary to gain the energy that you've lost. Try to work out whenever you can. Don't forget that healthy minds live in healthy bodies. And in the end, CAT is just an exam. Life does not start or end with it. May you shine in CAT and come out with flying colors. Good luck.